Now we're going to be adding our hi-hats. There are all types of hi-hats. Uh, this drum can accommodate anything up to 14 inches. Um, you don't even have to use hi-hats. You could use a crash cymbal uh, down below and perhaps match it with another type of cymbal for its other um, uh, top hat. Um, there are different varieties of hats. I have uh, just selected here off of my collection um, the pasties, which have a nice little wavy look to them on their outer rim, outer, outer rim which allows the air to escape when they come in contact with each other, uh, kicking out the air and giving it a quicker splash sound uh, once they uh, achieve contact with one another. Um, there are, are lots of different Sabian brands that I would highly recommend. Um, what the entry level um, version of the high end would be the B20 uh, Bronze 20, which means that the hats have 20% of that bronze mixture in them, uh, obtaining a really nice sound. Uh, that would be the XS20. Uh, but they go all the way up to the to the high end stuff, uh, hand hammered uh, versions of cymbals which are tuned specifically uh, by ear. Uh, there's another hat out there that I really like, which is the Fusion, and that is um, of the AA models of Sabian cymbals. And those have little pinprick holes on the bottom hat, again allowing that air to escape and having um, the hats come together in a quick fashion and getting a nice explosive sound out of that. They're a little bit more pricey. But again, uh, it's all up to your ear. What you're going to want to do is either uh, listen um, to them at a music store or you can go onto the Sabian.com website and uh, test all of their hats with different sound samples, uh, matching them up with one another. Um, on the low end is the Sabian B8s. Uh, again, they're just a very uh, low cost, entry level hat. But this sounds okay, but at the same time, they're just going to be a little bit flatter, a little uh, more dissonant on the ear. Um, and uh, just a, a sound that you might not appreciate for your drum. But again, it's all up to you, your preference, and your sound. So let's go ahead and get started and add these hi-hats. What we're going to want to do first is find whatever hat you're using that is marked top. Um, so you use your hi-hat that is on top, and we're going to put it on the bottom of the drum. To do so, we're going to have to undo what is here. We're going to undo this clutch, this top clutch. And then we're going to reach around, lift that pedal up, and take off the spring and the mounting nut in its little sleeve. So that goes off to the side. Now we're going to take that clutch, pull out the pin with the rubber stopper at the bottom, and those are our three parts for getting this drum going. Now we want to undo the nut and the lock washer so we can get out our bottom clutch which comes up with a rubber washer and a metal uh, tilt plate and the bottom clutch itself. Take that top hat, add it to the bottom. Now if you have low profile hats, and what I mean by low profile means it's measured from the edge of the, uh, the symbol to the very top, and that is its overall height. If it's a low height or uh, pitch, then you might want to add both rubber washers, but for the most part you can only, uh, you don't have to use them both, you just use the one and you get a, a little bit more room in that drum for working some of the levers. So before I do that, Add the metal washer, and that is the tilt plate that we'll find out a little bit more about. Perhaps easiest to do it in this configuration, so your drum is open and easy to work with. Add that lock washer, followed by the nuts. Before we get that too tight, we want to know what our overall tilt style is going to be, and the only way to find that out is uh, playing the drum a little bit and seeing what kind of sound you like. You can have them stacked together uh, perpendicularly, so when they come together they make contact all the way around at the same time, or you can tilt oops, tilt that bottom hat so that they come together and claps in a way that adds kind of a, a rim uh, uh, of connection as it's coming down. Uh, right now, we don't have this tilted at all, but what, if you did, you'd want to go ahead and tighten that, loosen that nut, find that bolt setting, and then really tighten down that wing nut to keep it where it's going. And then, 
And we'll go ahead and make sure that's good and tight. You're going to want to keep this tighter than a drum set normally is just because you're going to be playing this at an angle and you don't want these to move around too much. Next step is to undo your top clutch. Find your bottom hi-hat. And again, go ahead and put that on there nice and tight so that you don't have too much wobble. Again, that's the same reason why we had that before. Because your hats are going to need to travel in a way that don't rattle too much. Take our pin, now that they're matched up, find that hole, and then find the hole on the other side, and then we're going to go ahead and with its sleeve, uh, go ahead and lift that pedal and put those back on. Now I would suggest making about five full turns and then stopping. Because how we're going to adjust this next has everything to do with how that feature is going to work. And lift open your snare, reach inside, depress the pedal about two-thirds of the way, tighten up that top clutch, and now you have a splashing cymbal with about a half inch in between them. Now to get this uh, hi-hat lowered a little bit, you have a micro feature. So what you're going to want to do is slightly lower that, maybe about four or five turns. And they're just touching enough that I know they're just about an eighth or so of an inch apart. Then you can just really drop them and have almost nothing uh, room to play with. So the overall technique for playing this pedal is the two major functions of keeping your time with that chink sound, or you can have a nice big explosive open sound, kind of like a crash cymbal. It really gets that explosive sound. Again, that's going to be a preference you're going to be working on uh, and a stylistic thing that you can uh, master. We'll go over the other pedals or you'll learn that there'll be other ways in which you can get that 